Mi ulazimo u jedno novo i jedno drugčije vrijeme. Ali ja vas molim, a u funkciji koju obnašam i zapovjedam, da je skrb od stradalnicima domovinskog rata još uvijek vaša briga sve jednog časnika i dočasnika Hrvatske vojske. koje vidite na mostu su studionici akcije Masenica i svih akcija posle toga. Ja skupa s vama, gospodo, pripadam generaciji koje je Bog podario tu čast da možemo postrojiti Hrvatsku vojsku da pozdravi vrhovnog zapojednika oružane sile. Nikada više ovako zdanje koje je povezalo Hrvatski jug i sjever neće niko pomaknuti odavde. Niči ja ovo mora nisu nego naša. Gospodine predsjedniče, zapojednici i postrojbe koje su sudjelovali u operaciji Maslenica postrojene su u vašu čast. Rijavak podnio. Glavni inspektor obrane, general pukovnik Ante Gotovina. We appreciate the difficulties that Croatia faces, having over a quarter of its territory, refusing to recognize the sovereignty of its own government, and the challenge of setting up a military organization from scratch. But Croatia has already made a strong start in establishing a military appropriate for a democratic society. And we believe that by working together, there's much that U.S. and Croatia can do right now to promote peace and stability in that troubled region. Mr. Secretary, on behalf of Croatia and my own behalf, I would like to thank you personally because I know how much you were involved personally for this to happen and having understanding for Croatia and the troubled times we are going through. Gorko Shushak's death is not only a great loss to his family and his friends, it is a great loss for Croatia. What Shakespeare said about a great Roman, I say about a great Croatian. Now there goes a man, we shall never see his like again. Minister Shushak's service to his country came at a crucial time. I think it is safe to say that without him, Croatia would have found the long and winding road to independence and territorial integrity even more difficult and rocky than it was. He was stubborn, to be sure, but most of all, he was a patriot. He was a visionary in military of matters, and his legacy will be that one day the Croatian Armed Forces will be valued participants in Western security organizations. In so doing, he saw his lifelong dream come true.